Just on that last, that last uh, story there, this Afghan war hero, it's very interesting to me that amid all these stories about the people trying it on the boats, the Albanian yeah. economic workers and so on, you just want an easy time here, you get stories like that which really touch you and you realise that some of these people are genuinely desperate and deserving people who should be in this country. More than half the people who get across the channel are given leaves to stay. Right. What we've done is we've sh shut off the legal routes to try and keep them out. But mm. I'll, I'll be surprised if you don't have a review of his case by tomorrow night. Well, I shall be tweeting it to about 8.5 million people, which tends to have a little effect on uh, number 10 when we do that, because I do think it's completely outrageous. But let's talk about cultural appropriation, Emily. So a dance troupe for female pensioners has been forbidden from performing in sombreros and pharaoh costumes by Germany's National Garden Show after being accused of cultural insensitivity. Now, the, the, the AWO Ballet, performing since the 80s, they're a charity for the elderly and disabled to give women in their 60s, most of whom are widows, an outlet to socialise and dance. What is going on? I don't... Uh, listen, I worked in the fashion industry for many years. Cultural appropriation was definitely happening there. You had a completely white industry taking uh, black culture and selling it for a lot of money, mm -hmm. and, and they were the ones taking them. But what is wrong there with cultural... There is a cultural... place for cultural appropriation. Not here. This is ridiculous. They thought a sombrero was going to be insulting in some my... way. Worn in a show by some lovely old ladies. And I never, think, I never think the people who we presume from these stories are supposed to be offended would be remotely offended. I've never... I've been in Mexico many times. I've never seen anyone in Mexico be offended by tourists wearing sombreros. So, Kevin, yeah. why, we, why can't we rename it cultural celebration? Why does everything have to be immediately offensive? Yeah, well... Blackface is, is certainly offensive. Yeah. They're not doing that. Yeah. Uh, one time people used to... But a sombrero right. on a widow well, dancing in a charity? No, because they'll be allowed to wear ponchos. I mean, the only good thing is this festival's now moved them up on the main stage. But, who, but, they have but where does this line Look, get derived? I, th I, think it, I think it's not bad to be aware and be respectful and question. But every now and again, if you're going to do that, just as you get ignorant people who trample all over others, you'll get people who are oversensitive and then make a mistake. And this just feels but like the problem a is, Emily. I just think this is creeping thing where once you give in to any of these things, it never stops. It never stops. Once you've established cultural appropriation, not a day goes by without somebody somewhere falling foul of culturally appropriating someone's I, I literally other. don't think that someone that they haven't okay. looked up what cultural appropriation is and, and the roots of it. So I just think it's people sort of in a sort of panic. Oh my god, if we do this, we're gonna get in lots and lots of trouble. They're not doing any research. They're not actually working out what is cultural appropriation, what isn't. Yeah. So it's just sort of got why can't you now. why can't you celebrate other cultures? Well you can, but would you say it was OK to black up as a Jamaican. I don't if think... If you're a white... No, no, no would you? I think would you? And no, no. A, you know, I, I and then it's adopt a fair an point. An I think an certainly accent. don't think that blackface is acceptable. Yeah. So there is a limit. So you've agreed... I told, of course. I'm not you've saying agreed. there's no limit. Yeah. But widows wearing a sombrero... No, they've got it wrong here. ...is ridiculous. You're right. Wrong. You're right. That the organisers have got it wrong. As I've said, yeah. I do think the white fashion industry, mm. definitely at times, yeah. was stealing a black New York street culture right. and they weren't seeing any of the money. And in some cases, one big fashion group actually had to pay a black street culture mm. guy because they quite literally stole his designs without paying him. Look, there are, That's wrong. Yeah, there are limits. Yeah. I don't think anyone disputes yeah. that. But a and, and, and also, I think intent is important. Yep. If you're intending uh, to be offensive, right? Yep. So if, you, if you're deliberately culturally offensive yep. to another culture, mm. if you're mocking a culture, mm. that's one thing. But if you're celebrating it, it's a totally different thing. Well, I think we've lost that ability yeah. to draw a line between celebration and inappropriate appropriation. Yeah. Right, haven't we? Uh, can do sometimes, but I think it's it's not bad to be aware and challenge. Uh, and if you know, a load of Mexicans turn up or Japanese or Egyptians turn up and they're offended, then I think they should be listened to and not laughed yeah, at. I just, I but it, I know, and I know it hasn't happened in this But case. I subscribe I, to the, the Ricky Gervais yeah. thing, which is someone's always going to be offended somewhere yeah. about something. Why are something? you going to be offended mm. anyway if you're a Mexican and there's some nice old ladies wearing some sombreros? I, I don't think right. it would be. I, mean, I agree. I, I mean, everyone's sombreros when we go to Mexico. On, I'm, I, I'm Irish. On St. Patrick's Day, 
do. And everyone dresses up in green as leprechauns and stuff. I don't run around going saying I'm offended. I am. I say, where's no, my Guinness? No, I don't mind if someone who dresses up as a, as Tower Bridge or whatever right. and mocks us as, as British or right. beefy. You know, they can I do just what don't, they like. I don't understand why you would be offended. But I can sometimes see people who had a lot of abuse hmm. then will feel... There's a line, but it's yeah. as with all woke things, it's it's just gone ridiculous. <laughs> um, respect. Talking of which, let's go to woke language. So... Yeah. Um, we're now being told, apparently, that Boots, the chemist, uh, they've changed the word less abled. Uh, well, they've changed from disabled to less abled on a parking sign. Can I talk about this, please? Because as someone who had a disabled nephew... Yeah. Sorry, where... Why is less abled better than disabled? Yes! I think no. it's shocking. I think it's It's like worse. the Roald Dahl censorship when you couldn't it's call like, someone fat, you could call them saying, gigantic. You're saying someone is less able. I think it's more insulting than disable. We, there are some words we do need to change and rethink, quite a number of them. But to replace them with something which I think is worse... Well, what about, the National, what about the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence have asked NHS staff to refer to alcoholics as people who misuse alcohol? I don't mind that so much. Why? Because less, because they are misusing alcohol. Less but they're also alcoholics. They're, alcoholics. they're also alcoholics. They're also alcoholics. It's like when you say you can't call fat people fat. Well, they're fat. They're not going to. They're not <laughs> going to. Yeah, I know, but they're, they're, right. They're, 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 <laughs> And by the way, when people say to me, you're looking a bit fat, I go to the gym more. I and I lose a bit of weight, and they go, you've lost a bit of tin, but it feels good. I, less, I mind less about that. I think Boots saying someone is less abled is deeply, I, deeply I can't, I, can't, I can't see people going to meetings of people misusing alcohol anonymous. I think we'll just go to well, Alcoholics Kevin, Anonymous, some of the, won't Kevin, they? Some of the <laughs> others, some of the <laughs> others. <laughs> Kevin, some of the others. <laughs> they also asked this National Institute for staff to refer to drug addicts as people who use drugs, smokers as people who smoke, rough sleepers as people who experience homelessness. Yeah, these... This is as if any of this matters to these so people. Is this the NHS? Huh? Is this the yeah. NHS? This is the no. National Institute for Health and Care Excellence. These are no. definitions, aren't they? Of our NHS staff. Yeah, but yeah. here's my point. None of these people care about being called these things. This is some woke imbecile. No, 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 no. Rewriting language for people who don't either know or care. But also, I've never heard a single the... smoker no, say, how no. dare you, call me a person who smokes. But the, 